All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here now. I'm sure you guys have seen my turtle. He is, I don't even know where he is. And he is right here in this 40 gallon, or to be exact, 38 gallon aquarium. So this is his swimming space, and then he has this little basking place up here with a UVB light, a heat lamp, and this reptile carpet is normally neatly placed up here, but as you can see, he knocks it in the water, and you know, just thrashes things around. However, I think it's time to give his tank a little bit of an upgrade. If you guys remember, the last upgrade we did to his aquarium was give him this super cool above tank basking dock. He has a little ramp in here and he climbs up and you know, basks in this above tank basking dock all the time. But the rest of his tank is looking a little bit boring. It's looking drab compared to my other tank, like my gorgeous reef tank, or even my planted aquarium that just have a ton going on. His tank is super bare and really boring. Now with turtles, bare tanks are okay. They like a lot of swimming room. They don't like to be super crowded. So a bare tank is not necessarily an issue, but his tank's ugly, like we could do better. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So as you can see, these river rocks down here aren't the prettiest thing. They're great because the turtle can't eat them, which is why you can't keep turtles with gravel. They'll eat the gravel, it's a problem. Other than that, they're just boring. I've had them for a while, I've, you know, just got bored of them. My other option I was thinking is just doing bare bottom, taking out all the rocks and just leaving it on a glass bottom, but that's also equally as boring. You know, just gives the tank very much sterile hospital vibes. Don't love it. So then I did some more research and saw people making bare bottom aquariums, but with tile, like tile flooring. And that's exactly what I figured I would do. So I went on Lowe's, was looking at porcelain tile, stuff like that, and came across some options, as you can see right here. So before I went to Lowe's, I had an idea of what I was looking for. So this right here is the exact tile I was looking for. I love the little gray graphite look of it. I think it looks super modern. So as you can see, Lowe's had tons of different options. There's ceramic tiles, porcelain tiles, like there was just a ton. But I stayed towards this like natural hardwood floor look. I like the gray color more than any other color. So I eventually just kept looking. As you can see, they really have so many options. It was a little bit overwhelming. Even the marble looked cool. But I ended up finding the exact tile I was looking for right here. And here we are with some tiles. So these look like, it looks like wood floor, but it's not, they're actually porcelain tiles and porcelain is safe for turtles from what I've researched. The ones I chose said they were safe, they were pet friendly. I got nothing with no crazy additives, just literally a standard porcelain tile, but it looks like super modern wood flooring. Each one of these is 6 inches by 24 inches, and the turtle's tank is 12 inches by 36 inches. Basically, I'm going to need three of them. I got four just in case, though, because we will have to cut some of them in half for the other side of the tank because they're only 24 inches and we need 36, so that's going to be a problem. So we'll have to figure that out down the road. But for now, let's get those ugly rocks out of the aquarium and start prepping this stuff right here to go in the tank. Okay, so I removed all the rocks, and as you can see, the water's pretty murky, and that's because all this dirt and debris down here sits in the rocks. Once we put the tile in, all that dirt will stay on top of the tile itself, allowing it to stay mixed up and sucked in by the filter. So we're gonna reduce all those little crevices for dirt to hide, which will keep the tank way cleaner. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna vacuum all this stuff out, then we'll put the tile in and fill the tank back up. So now that the tank is empty, I went ahead and cut off the flow to the canister filter just because it was so loud. But now I'm literally just gonna take, hopefully I don't fall. I'm gonna take one of these right here, this is cleaned. I went and washed it just with hot water and scrubbed it down. I'm just gonna take it under here, go right past the turtle, and then I'm just gonna slide it all the way down. If the turtle would move, I don't wanna crush you. There is the first one in, let me put the second one in. Uh, he's so confused. He has no idea what's going on. And there's the second one in. And of course they don't fit. Of course. So they look to be off by a very short amount. So what I'm going to have to do is take one of these and cut like 1 16th or 1 8th of an inch off of it just so they sit flush. That's going to be super boring. So I'll be back when that's cut because... I gotta cut it. And then what I'm also gonna do is do the exact same thing and cut places or cut tiles, I should say, 
that fit in this part of the tank. So just like that, it is the next day. And if you look behind me, his tank is done. He really has already made it a mess, but it was actually way harder than I thought to cut these tiles. I had to use like a whole tile cutter thing. I don't know, that was actually probably the most difficult part and it wasn't even that bad. Yeah, so going back on this tile cutter for a second, um, I would highly recommend having them cut your tile. I believe they cut your tile at Lowe's for you. I don't 100% quote me on that, I'm not sure. We just happened to have a tile cutter. I didn't even know that was a thing to be honest. However, there's a whole bunch of different ways to cut tile. You can even like do it by hand from what I've researched with like a chisel. So, you know, I'll leave that up to you guys. However you want to cut it. There's tons of different options. Like I mentioned, there's people who will do it for you. Or if you're handy and want to do it at home, that is also an option. Um, I've noticed that the tile does get dirty really fast. He ate lettuce today, so it's the tank's just like dirty because he rips his lettuce all to shreds. But here is our finished project tile wise. So it really doesn't look that bad. I really like how it turned out. It really gives the tank a nice modern look and I think it looks way better than the rocks. However, we did get some more stuff to go ahead and spice his tank up. So in addition to the new tile we just put it down, I got him some minnows. Some of these he eats, some of these he doesn't. It's really weird, like there's an orange goldfish in here that has been in here forever and he's never bit, never chased, nothing like that. But if I put more goldfish in, he tries to eat the goldfish. It's the weirdest thing. He befriends some fish and then kills the other ones, unfortunately. So I got 10 of these minnows just to see if he'll be nice to them. And then to help both him and the minnows feel more comfortable, I got two packs of these turtle vines. Now they have suction cups, so I wanted to suction cup them along the whole back of the wall and let them drape down, but I'm worried about them floating. So I got two packages to do the entire length of the tank, because each one of these is only one and a half feet, which is half of my tank. So I guess I'm just gonna roll a time lapse and you guys can watch me try to install these and hopefully they don't float and hopefully they look pretty once they're all installed, but we'll just have to see. Okay, so that was also a slightly bigger production than I thought. Now these rope vines, whatever you want to call them, were 20 bucks for both, so 10 bucks a piece. And they're okay, I don't love them. Um, I wish they were just like less in the tank, if that makes sense, I don't know. I had a different vision for them. I don't hate them, I just don't love them. However, I'm gonna keep them for now. I might return them down the road if they just get annoying and the turtle just doesn't like them. But I kind of wish they would just like totally stay on the back wall, but they're just very floaty and very airy almost, which is just not what I expected, but we'll move on. However, now that we have his tank all fixed and ready to go, let's get his new fish in. So there we go. That's the completed tank with minnows, the goldfish, the turtle, and then there's a couple other little guppies in there who live with him. But that is just about it for our newly renovated turtle aquarium. So that is just about a wrap for the new turtle aquarium. A total cost for this was about $27. I'm not quite sold on these vines quite yet. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes in the future. However, I think the turtle likes his new home a lot better. He's over there probably chasing a fish. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.